Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited about today's video because I am playing with these two beautiful palettes from Odin's Eye Cosmetics. This is my first ever Odin's Eye Cosmetics order and I am so, so excited. So this is the Alva 2 palette as well as the Alva 2 highlighting palette. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look on my eyes, seeing some swatches and uh, hearing my thoughts on these palettes, stick around. We're going to get started in just a moment. But before we do, if you're new here, hi, I'm Annie. I am a 40 something lover of color who believes you can have fun with color at any age. If that sounds fun or interesting, if you'd like to see a little more color in your timeline, if you love color and indie makeup as much as I do, as much as I know my subscribers here do, I would love it if you would stick around. Please do keep in mind, I am not a trained makeup artist. I am just someone who really, really enjoys playing with makeup and talking about it, especially indie brands. And I only have really one uh, one, one person in my real life who is willing to listen to me expound on the joys of indie makeup at all. And so I come here to hopefully learn from some of my subscribers and um, hopefully my subscribers learn a few things from me. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this collection. So like I said, this is um, the Alva 2 highlighting palette and eyeshadow palette. This is Odin's Eyes Summer collection and it is like a continuation of their original Alva series. So reading directly from the website, they're saying that the Alva 2 Nature Elf series is the new collection for summer 2020. It's inspired by elements, um, elemental spirits in Norse mythology. It contains both these two palettes as well as three mini palettes which I did not pick up and now I'm kicking myself but I did have to show some self-restraint. I mean you have to do that sometimes, right? right? We'll see. They, they might, they might eventually wind up at my house because they're really pretty. I, I'm going to go ahead and put pictures of them up here. So the first one is the sky eyeshadow palette. The second one is the ocean eyeshadow palette. And the third one is the forest eyeshadow palette. But like I said, I left those in Sweden and uh, just grabbed these two. So this is obviously a Swedish brand. They are cruelty free. They are made in China, just for your information. The eyeshadow palette retails for $32 US. For that $32, you get 15 grams of product and 16 eyeshadows. There are seven mattes, seven shimmers, and two glitter shades in this palette. And this really, really beautiful color story and absolutely insanely gorgeous packaging. The packaging on this is cardboard, but it's weighted and it just feels luxurious. It has a texture to it, so it's not a smooth cardboard. And all of the gold is raised. It's like embossed on there. Um, and then there is here some more embossing happening there in shades that kind of match the palette there. And they are these really beautiful, gorgeous woodland fairy women. And I cannot get over just how pretty this packaging is. Same kind of packaging for the um, highlighting palette. It comes in the sleeve. And this highlighting palette is $33 US. For $33, you get 30 grams of product and four shades. Again, this gorgeous packaging. And here is the highlighting palette itself. These are absolutely stunning. I do have it on good authority from Annette's Makeup Corner that that adorable little butterfly is just overspray. So I'm going to keep it there as long as I can because I'm that person. I want to look at it because it makes me happy, okay? Okay. Um, yeah, so this is what you get. These are absolutely beautiful in themselves. And again, this really, really beautiful packaging with that amazing texture. And again, it feels very, very heavy and very, very expensive. And they kind of are expensive at $33 for a highlighting palette and $32 for an eyeshadow palette. So I think I think that's all I have to say about the collection itself. Let's talk a little bit about my ordering process. I did order obviously directly from their website, so Odin's Eye website. I will go ahead and leave a link to that down in this description box. It is not an affiliate link. It is just an, a link so that you can find these if you wish to purchase them. I ordered them the day they were released, which was August 21st, and they arrived at my house 
um, on September 3rd, which is not bad when you're talking about coming from Sweden. I paid $65.14 for my order, including shipping. I did use a discount code, so I did save a little bit of money on them. So if you do plan to purchase from indie brands, I always think it's great to find a discount code because I know I love to save money and I think everybody does, especially these days. Uh, okay, so I think that is all I have to say about that. I think that's everything. So I am just going to insert some swatches here. We are going to show first the highlighting palette swatches, and then I will show you the eyeshadow uh, swatches. I almost said swallows. I, I don't know where I don't know where I am today. Eyeshadow swatches, and then we will dive into the demo, and then of course my final thoughts. So I think I decided what I'm going to do. I really love, if you didn't know this about me, I really love pink and green together. It's kind of one of my favorite things ever. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this pink shade here, peach juice in my crease, and then I'm going to deepen the outer corner with coffee. And then on my lid, I am going to put green elves, which is this shade here. And then to top off green elves, I'm going to put just a scattering of pink star kind of like all over just just because haven't decided about my lower lash line or my inner corner yet we will indeed get there so let's go ahead and just start with the shade peach juice i'm going to just pick that up on my morphe m441 and we are just going to pop it through the crease i have of course already primed my eyes using my mac paint pot in soft ochre And you know what? I think I've actually kind of changed my mind. I don't know if I'm going to use that um, brown shade or not. We're going to, I don't know. We'll see. I know I changed my mind at like the drop of a hat. So this is going on so nicely. It's really, really applying beautifully. I'm not having any like problems with patchiness or anything like that, even with this really terrible brush. I actually went to purchase more brushes from Sigma and the ones I want, of course, are sold out, which is depressing. And I'm gonna bring it here on the outer portion of my lid as well, because I do want a little bit of this pink to be down here. And I'm just gonna use the brown to kind of deepen it up a little bit. That is really pretty. It took me a little while to blend out. I don't think that's the fault of the shadow. It was just me kind of playing with the shape and how far I wanted things to be drug out. Um, I think it's really pretty. I think it really blended out very nicely and I'm really happy with that kind of like wash of color. So now let's go ahead. I guess I am going to use the brown. I'm just going to stick to my plan, stick to the plan, stick to the plan. And um, let's see, which brush do I want to put that on? I want it to be kind of more diffused. I don't want it to be, you know, like super dark and brown. So I'm going to use this Morphe M433, which is just kind of pinched. And of course it's shedding because it's a cheap Morphe brush. Um, and I'm going to go into that coffee shade. So this brown shade right here. And I'm just gonna pick up a smidgen of that because I really don't want this to take over the look. And I'm holding my brush all the way here at the end of the 
end of it because I don't want a lot of pressure either. I want it to be a very kind of smooth, light application. And once I get it down, I'm just gonna kind of go in just these little teeny tiny circles and I'm keeping it just to the extreme outer portion here. That's really pretty. I really love the way those blended together. There is no harshness at all. It is just very, very, very soft and just kind of like ethereal looking, which I get the feeling is kind of the vibe of this palette. But now we are going to take it in a weird direction because it's what I do on my channel. So I'm going to pull out my NYX Glitter Primer, which is sitting right here on the desk in front of me, and I'm going to put that on my little flat shading brush here, and then we're going to go in with some of that shade Green Elves. I don't think I want this to be like a full-on cut crease, so I'm not gonna be trying to like make a perfect line. I want this to be a little bit softer. We'll see if that's a good idea or a bad idea once the color gets applied, I guess. And then just with the same brush, I am going to dip into Green Elves, which is the shade here. And we are just going to pat that all over the lid. Oh, that's such a pretty shade. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is so pretty and sparkly. Oh my gosh, I really love that. That is gorgeous. I'm just gonna go in with that brush that I used with the shade Coffee, and I'm just gonna kind of blend this edge here so that the green kind of shimmer kind of just flows right in. And I know I said I wasn't going for a harsh line, but I actually kind of love that kind of shape, so I'm gonna see if I can replicate that on the other side. That's super, super pretty. That is really pretty. I really, really love that shade Green Elves. It is such a beautiful, like, bright, sparkly kind of spring growth kind of. I mean, this is supposed to be the summer palette, but it really does remind me of like new leaves on trees in spring. I think it's so, so pretty. Now let's see if I totally mess up the entire thing. We're gonna go ahead and add some of that glitter here, Pink Stars. And we're just gonna kind of tap it very lightly over this green. I want just a smattering and I managed to get it up here. Yay me, let's see if I can wipe that away a little bit. Okay, good. So here is where I am now. I'm just gonna see if I can kind of wipe some of that glitter away that got out of control. And um, yeah, so I don't know how I feel about that. I may have just destroyed the entire thing by adding that glitter, but hey, 
You only live once, right? All right, let's talk about lower lash line. Do I want to continue with this color theme? I think I do. I think what I'm gonna do is go into the shade Green Tea, which is this green matte shade here. And I am just going to pick that up on a pencil brush. That is not the brush that I'm looking for. And we are just going to kind of smudge that along the lower lash line. And then to help that blend into what's going on in the outer corner, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of that coffee shade and just kind of add it here to the extreme outer like quarter of my lower lash line. And then I think I wanna deepen that outer corner just a smidgen more. So going into a little bit more of coffee we are just going to add it here. And then we're gonna add just a smidgen more of peach juice as well, just because I feel like it got a little bit lost in all of this craziness. All right, I'm going to leave the eyes for just a moment because I'm not yet sure what I want to do with my inner corner. I think I'm going to use one of the highlighters for my inner corner. So let's go ahead and just go into the highlighting palette and choose a highlighter for the face. I have got glitter everywhere, you guys, like everywhere. I'm not mad at it, but just so you know, I do have glitter like all over the place. It's what happens with glitter. All right, so for my highlighting, obviously the blue is not going to work. I'm so intrigued by this one. I really, really am. I think I'm gonna use this for my inner corner today. And so I think on my face, the best fit for today is going to be Gnome. So I'm going to pick that up on my Kaleidos highlighting brush. And I'm just going to pick some of that up and let's see what we get. That's pretty. It's a really soft, pretty glow perfect for my skin tone, which again, I am pretty fair. So that makes me happy trying to find a um, like champagne colored highlight is difficult for me. Although now that I'm looking a little closer that I've added a little bit more, it does give me a little bit of a cast. So I might go in to that shade Salamander just to top it off with to kind of lighten it up a bit. Such a wet looking highlight. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of salamander as well. And we're just gonna kind of add that right on top to see if we can lighten it up just a little. Oh, that's beautiful. That is really pretty. I really like these. These are really, really wet and um, just beautiful on the skin. Like, wow, just wow, I'm impressed. I see why everyone loves these so much. All right, for my inner corner, I am gonna go ahead and pick up a bit of Salamander again. That is this shade right here. And we are just going to pop that into my inner corner. That is gorgeous as an inner corner highlight. I really, really like this. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to apply some eyeliner, I need to apply some mascara, and then I will come back, um, and some lipstick obviously, and I'll come back and show you guys the final look. Here's the final look.
So let's chit chat about these, shall we? Let's start with the highlighting palette. So first of all, I have to say again, you guys know by now, I am a sucker for beautiful packaging. And this is insanely beautiful packaging. It is just so, so pretty and I can't stop staring at it. This little butterfly makes me so happy that I don't ever want him to go away and I'm going to do my best to avoid him so he stays there forever. I'm going to probably wind up with a hole all around him and that's just the way it's going to be. So we're going to have to live with that. Um, this shade here, Salamander, holy cow, that is a beautiful shade. It is like such a rainbow of colors. So, so gorgeous. It's beautiful like on the cheek. It's also beautiful as a inner corner highlight. I love that it just reflects like all these different colors, like literally a rainbow of colors and absolutely stunning. It's, I think, well, I've only used two of the shades on my face, but I mean, it's so pretty to look at that I think it's probably going to wind up being my absolute favorite shade. As far as Gnome goes, it is gorgeous also on the skin. Very, very wet looking, but for me, um, it's just a smidgen on the dark side, which always seems to happen with shades like this. However, if I mix these two together, it does work beautifully, and I feel like it does not leave me with a dark cast or anything like that. I think it looks really, really lovely mixed together um, with Salamander, so I'm really happy about that. Obviously, I haven't used these two shades yet. I do plan on hopefully using Undine, in my next look because I'm wanting to dive into some of those blues that are in the palette and I always love a good kind of purplish violet pinky highlight. That's probably one of my favorite highlight shades so I'm super excited to use that one as well. Let's move on to the palette. Again the packaging you guys it is so so pretty. I cannot believe how pretty it is. Pictures just don't do it justice when you get it in your hands and you just feel the textures and just feel the weight of it. It's just so beautiful. And as far as the color story goes, I mean, I really do love this color story. It's so bright, it's so summery, and it's just absolutely beautiful. However, I think that there's a flaw. And that flaw is that there are not enough deepening shades. There is this one brown, but it, it tends to lean a little warmer. So I'm not sure how it's going to mix with these cooler tones over here. I would have preferred if they were going to put a brown in this palette for this brown to be like a neutral brown that you could use with either of the sides of the palette. Um, also, as much as, I mean, I don't mind the glitter, but I know that a lot of people do. Um, I think they maybe could have replaced the glitter shades with deepening matte shades that are like colorful mattes as well. Um, because a glitter is fine for me, but I know a lot of people don't like it, but I think I would have preferred to have some darker mattes, at least one darker um, warm matte and one darker cool matte I think would have been beautiful. So as far as performance of the eyeshadows, the mattes that I used today, I used four of the mattes, four of the mattes, three of the mattes, and they blended out absolutely beautifully. I didn't have any issues with blending. I have no patchiness. I think that the, the blend is just very seamless and very blown out and smoky and just looks beautiful. So I really, really do love the formula. I think it's absolutely so much fun to work with. It's a pleasure really to work with it. And I'm really, really happy with that matte formula. This green shade here. They call it like a diamond glitter sh shadow and that's a little bit of a misleading name because there's no glitter in this shadow. I think what they mean by that is that it is sparkly. It really is like sparkly like diamonds. It is gorgeous and had I not been testing this palette out today I probably would have put that on my lid and just left it alone without adding the glitter but I did want to try out the glitter and as far as glitters go I really do like this glitter and I really love the pink over the green like I said before I love a good pink kind of green combination that's just something that I find to be very fun and very um, natural it reminds me of flowers I guess it was why I like it so much um, this glitter is beautiful. It is so, so sparkly. Like, it makes me so happy. Like all glitter, though, I do have glitter everywhere. So if you're going to put glitter on your eyes, you have to be prepared for that. It's just, that's just the way it goes. Glitter does not stay in one place, and it will probably be wiping glitter off my face for the next week, at least. It's just 
it's just the way it just the way it is. I do obviously want to try out more of these shades. I'm very intrigued by these blues. I really, really want to use those. So I think that's what I'm going to do with my next look for it. This orange is also really, really beautiful. I feel like you could get a really gorgeous fall look out of this palette as well as just a summer look. So I'm very, very intrigued by this palette. I think the quality is excellent and I cannot play, wait to play with it more. I think that's all I have to say about these palettes. Um, other than I am really happy to have them in my collection and I am not mad that I spent $65 on these two items because again, they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I wanna hear from you guys. Did you pick these up? Did you pick up anything from this collection? Do you have anything from Odin's Eye that you really, really love that you think that I might enjoy as well? Because I'm always on the lookout for new things. You guys probably know this about me, by now I have way too many things and I want more um, I'm like Ariel and her um, yeah and her fork collection that that's me so um, I would love to hear from you guys did you pick it up if you did what are your thoughts do you plan to pick them up and um, yeah I, I, guess, I guess that's everything so please let me know what you think oh and let me know if you want to see more videos using this palette, because if you do, I definitely can do that. I do pre-film a lot, so it may be a little while before it goes up, but I can kind of shuffle things around and um, move it forward if you guys are interested in seeing more looks with this. Um, maybe I can do like a two or three looks with one palette kind of video. We shall see. Those tend to get long, but I can try to make it short. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know about your thoughts on this brand as a whole. And I'm going to choke on my own spit and I am going to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a like down below. And while you're there, scooch on over if you're not already and hit subscribe. And next to subscribe is that little bell. If you ring that bell, you should be notified of all of my uploads. And of course I'm on Instagram at seemybliss underscore beauty. Still choking. And if you leave your house today, please don't forget to wear your mask, wash your hands, please be kind to your friends, be kind to your family, be kind to your neighbors, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.